you know, I really hate my computer. It's either my computer or it's the program. It has to be one of the two. Because I have no idea why, but this always happens. All, only on this game, I believe, when my recording just completely stops in the middle of this dialogue. You guys probably may, might have missed maybe like a line or two. But as soon as I stopped hearing the game through my earphones, I was like, no. I was like, it's done. So I kept on trying to press pause and it would not. But it got to the first option where I was able to give my opinion. And that's where I stopped it. I just pressed pause and this is where we're actually at right now. And I'm so pissed because this happens every fucking time I play this damn game. No other game. Only this one. Even though this game and Assassin's Creed is the only ones. At least in Assassin's Creed. It let me play through the entire game, and I have to say the ending of that game was phenomenal. They really did put in a lot of work like for that game. They really did put in a lot of work. They, I know that they spent a lot of time, and they were, they didn't like rush to make a brand new game. They didn't wait a year and just try and make it like the same, maybe change a little bit things and have like a completely different story. No, I noticed that they made this game, or made the game, really good. I know that I'm making absolutely no sense. I know that you guys probably just want to hear the gameplay. I do apologize. Let's get back to the game. I'm pissed at my recording because it stopped. This is usually why I just press record and let it go for maybe like an hour or two, and then I stop the recording and delete it because I like... I'm just rambling on. Let's continue. Track. They just roll. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right, and then we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. Just lost my footing, that's all. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. He kept on looking at that bell tower over there. I'm gonna talk to the people. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies, too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? <laughs> I like how they're talking like the end of the world means absolutely nothing. They're just talking about allergies. That's funny. It's funny because I've never had allergies in my life. Got any good ideas for getting through that uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you going to be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, 
It won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't going to let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. See, those people are loyal. They've only been us, been with us for a couple of days, and they're already risking their necks. They don't know us. I like them. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not going to want to. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh, I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. The mansion's that way. Bell Tower's over there. If we go down the opposite side of the roof, we might be able to make it without too much trouble. I can do that, yeah. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Can't. No. No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's... it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Saw a ladder. I wonder if he's gonna put it in his back pocket. <laughs> what? Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? <laughs> so we're agreed then. Try not to laugh while they're talking. You guys probably heard that, but that's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Playing games like this, it has its perks. It has humor in it. There are times where I just want to laugh my ass off. That's not something to laugh. You need to hurry. I mean, is that even possible? I didn't even know that ladders even had locks. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? That has to be like a 1900 ladder. Like the year 1900s. Like it has to be in that time period because there is no way that a ladder nowadays has a lock. I've it's never seen a ladder shit. with a lock. The exit in here's locked! So what, am I jumping back?
They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Should be an easy jump. We're at a higher elevation and we're jumping further, so. We I think I have there. to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Exactly. I'm so fucked. That's only like, what? A 12 foot jump? And you're like three feet higher than that? That's that's good enough. Unless you've never done track before. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. That made me mad because he jumped directly up in the air. He didn't jump forward, he jumped directly up. This isn't the vertical jump, this is not the NFL when I see how high we can jump. And Lee's a savage, he just used his gun. Holy. What the fuck? Who took our bow? Come on, what? Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit. They're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances, right? This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! How did they know that we were here? They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe 
not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omi! What is it? Front doors! Oh, son of a bitch. So I'm guessing they can hear our... I guess our voices go like 15 Lee, blocks help. away. Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Drawer. Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! A zon or a walker can bust through the window, but a metal wrench can do a dent in Guys, the window. Guys, help me with this! If you remember from episode four, when when we had the option to. Stairs, open the ladder thing. Three, five, four. You all know where to aim. Get ready. I'm gonna wait for everybody else to use their ammo first. But I am gonna take the first shot to start everything off. I don't think I was out. I guess if everybody else gets out before I do, then it just automatically ends up. And I lost my gun. I had like two bullets left. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. Can't we fight our way back through the house? I've got a weapon. What else do we have? Not much. It'd be a goddamn mess going back down there. We're no good to Clementine dead. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... Are you kidding me? Come on. Am I dreaming now? She's still at the Marsh did you house. Hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. 
Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Guess I'll fight my way out alone then. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! We're trapped, damn it! Lee's right, Krista. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should've cut it off. At least then there would've been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything. You fucking kidding me? I was listening. That's why I stayed we quiet. I wanted to hear what the rest of you had to Sorry, say. Okay. Fuck. We can't do this. We're gonna have to. You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. Let's see. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Man, I love Kenny. To be honest, I'm kind of like old me because I tell jokes even at the worst times possible. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Well, I'm going to say I'm going to end it here because I don't want to make these videos way too long. The reason why is because every time they're too long, they take about a good 12 hours to upload. And usually when they're very long, it my computer just shuts down. It doesn't actually upload. It makes me have to restart the upload and it just takes forever. And it takes maybe like a day or two just to upload one video and it's annoying. So anyways, everybody, goodbye. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and see you in the next one. Bye. And the reason why I'm not saying peace is because whenever I edit, it just sounds so stupid. Like, peace. And it just sounds so dumb. I don't know how to make it sound good. So, see you in the next one. That's what I'm going to say from now on. See you in the next one.